Hey guys, welcome to A Day in My Life. If you're new here, my name is Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and this vlog is gonna be a little bit different. There's parts where I'm just talking to the camera vlog style, and then there's gonna be parts where I do voiceover like this. But I started my day by making my bed, put my hair up in a claw clip, and then grab some coffee. I put some pea milk in my coffee, which honestly isn't my favorite because it kind of separates a little bit, but it worked. I got some work done, and then it was breakfast time. It was so cold on this day. It's been very cold in LA recently, so a hot breakfast was key. I like to go ahead and make my oats with water and salt, and then when all of the water is absorbed and the oats are really creamy, I'll go ahead and add about a half a cup of plant milk and let that thicken up. It just makes creamy oats, and it makes a lot. Like, they really expand a lot when you do it like that. Then I just kind of used what I had. I made kind of a PB&J topping. So I did some frozen blueberries, peanut butter, some coconut yogurt, and some jam with a little bit of hemp seeds on top and swirled this all together. Ugh, I'm letting my hair air dry. I just had the best shower. It was like one of those full showers where you scrub and you shave and you moisturize. I actually use this really nice like minty body wash. It's, it's not minty like pepperminty. It's like eucalyptus minty and I really like using it in the morning. Like it makes me feel awake. I wanted to show you this eyeshadow palette. So I actually got this as part of my friend Taylor's birthday present and she loves makeup and she texted me after using it for a while and said that she really likes it and she uses it every day. So I was like oh, an endorsement from Taylor. I'm definitely going to use this. But I love that there's a mix of of matte and shimmery shades because I find that actually matte shades that are kind of on the cooler side like this color I feel like out of all of these I'm not drawn to this color first but actually this color looks really pretty like these and that one and these like that's a really nice um, eyeshadow combination that creates this kind of like depth without being overly glittery and you don't look overly made up it just creates a really nice shape for my eye I didn't do that today I just did like a really fast kind of wash of some of the shimmerier shades on my lid and then I did this one in the crease. It's cruelty free of course and I got it at Target so I'll link it below if you guys are interested. Also wanted to show you this lip gloss. I've been linking it in my videos recently that I've been wearing it and it's this really pretty taupe lip oil. I have a red NYX lip liner underneath and then I have this on top and this is like a really pretty neutrally brown color that matches my lips almost exactly. So if I want something really natural I've been using this and then if I want to create more of a color I do a red lip liner and then this on top. Anyway, I'm gonna keep getting ready, let my hair air dry. I have some laundry going right now too, so I'm gonna take care of that and then get some work done. It's quite a while later now, but I'm actually getting pretty hungry for lunch, so I'm gonna show you how I make these baked tacos. They're super easy and it's a warm lunch, which I really love right now because it is very chilly and especially in my apartment, it's always extra chilly. So having a nice, hot, comforting lunch that's easy to make is kind of like, it right now for me but really quickly I wanted to tell you about the deal that native is giving my viewers because I've been using native deodorant for years and years since like 2018 and it's my favorite vegan and cruelty free deodorant so I partnered with them to bring you this portion of the video while I was getting ready today I used the aloe and green tea which has been my go-to recently there's actually makeup on the back because it's just like part of my everyday getting ready process and I really is it weird that I'm sniffing my deodorant it smells really good all of they have so many different scents and they all smell really good and this one I like because it's a very fresh and clean scent that's a little bit different it's not super floral it's not citrusy it doesn't have a powdery smell it's just clean which I really appreciate and they also have fun limited edition scents like for the season so right now they have natives naughty or nice collection and there's a spiked eggnog scent there's a candy cane scent it's like a fresh uplifting scent that really smells like candy canes like it doesn't just smell like mint it smells like candy cane the formula dries really quickly it's not sticky and they're made with very simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter and I love that they come in this new plastic free packaging it's earth friendly and 100% plastic free and each one saves 37 grams of single-use plastic so normally a pack of three native deodorants would cost $39 but if you use my link and my code that you see here on the screen you can get it for 26 which is 33% off and you can also use this code for 20% off the body wash so whether you're shopping for yourself or if you're looking for some good stocking stuffers and make sure to use the link in the code below to get that discount and now let's get to lunch mm -hmm. 
So this is really easy. I just started with some tortillas. Sometimes I do two, sometimes I do three, but they're actually more filling than they look because there's so much fiber and protein here. I love using refried beans, especially these ones. They're so flavorful. They've already got all the spices and everything, so you can use them as is, just heat them up. I also like shredding my own vegan cheese. It just takes a couple of seconds, but it melts so much better. I put these on a baking tray and then realized that they were a little bit thin, so I opened them back up and added a little bit more of the refried beans, spread that out, and then folded these in half. You can bake these or you can put them in the air fryer, which is even quicker, but I like to go ahead and just do a little thin layer of some olive oil on top just to make them a little bit crispy and get them kind of golden brown in the oven. I baked at 375 for about 15 minutes and this is what they look like. The middle is so good, like the beans and the cheese melt together and you can put your favorite taco toppings on top. I honestly didn't have a lot in the fridge so I just had some tomato, some of that coconut yogurt which is a great vegan sour cream replacement and this really good hot sauce. This looks very simple, I know, but it's really satisfying. It's like warm and cheesy and just hearty and so good. I'm gonna go run some errands. I have some groceries to grab for a video that I'm filming tomorrow. I'm gonna do a Christmas cookie video, so I wanna make sure I have everything for that. I'm also gonna be grabbing groceries for a recipe collab that I'm doing with my friend Malcolm on Instagram. He's Tapped in Wellness, and we're gonna do a collab over on Instagram. So I'm gonna grab all the ingredients so that I can bring those over to his house for us to film. I also have a baby shower that I'm going to this weekend, and they requested that we bring an object that reminds us of like a wish that we have for the baby and for the family. I have no idea what I'm gonna bring, or what that wish is gonna be. So I'm gonna spend some time thinking about that. By the time you guys watch this video, I will have already attended, but I would love to know what you guys, like how, how would you guys respond to that? Like what object would you bring and what kind of wish would you offer to go along with it? And then when I get back, I'm gonna do some decorating. I didn't decorate my apartment last year. I just wasn't in a very good headspace last year and I was just going through a lot around this time and I was going home for Christmas. So I didn't really feel like I just didn't want to decorate this space. It just wasn't, it wasn't the vibe last year. I kind of want to go through and gather up all of the fall decor that I put out and the mugs and the pumpkins I put everywhere, gather all that up and then just replace it with some Christmassy things. And I am going to put up my Christmas tree. So I'll be doing that later tonight. I'm going to make some vegan hot chocolate. It's one of my favorite ways to make hot chocolate and it is so, so good. Even non-vegans love it. It's just like very rich and delicious. I'm going to decorate the tree, watch some cheesy Christmas movies and just enjoy a very cozy, festive night in. So that is the plan. But before before I go, I'm gonna kind of gather up the fall thing and my Christmas decor box because I just wanna do like a quick scan of what I have so that I don't impulse buy doubles and duplicates while I'm out. That's one tip I have for you if you're trying to save money this holiday season. Take time, even if it's just if you're going to the grocery store, take time to do a little bit of inventory before you leave and that way you have a very good sense of what you have and what you need because it's so easy to buy duplicates when you're out and then you end up with doubles or triples of what you already have and not enough of some Something else that you actually need. So that's my little tip. That's what I'm gonna do now, and then we're gonna head out. So I gathered up all my fall decor and I put it away in my closet, which is where I keep my, I have like a Christmas and fall decor box because I don't have that much stuff. But I first pulled out all the Christmas stuff, which always makes me so happy, including Sven and this really sweet gift that I got from a viewer, which I'll show you later. I also pulled out some of my favorite Christmas mugs. These are from Target from a few years ago and this ornament box that I got on Amazon that is so great because it really helps to keep everything really organized and I can actually fit quite a lot in there. I love the light that these add. They kind of just catch the light in the perfect way. I put that stuff aside and went out to run some errands and on the way back, I decided to look and see if I could find a couple of items to wear. Like I'm looking for warm occasion wear, stuff that's a little bit dressy, but still warm. I find that I know how to dress for an occasion in the summertime, but in the winter time, I just wanna bundle up cause I hate being cold and that usually ends up looking pretty casual. So I'm kind of on the struggle bus when it comes to warm occasion wear. Across the street, there's a CVS, so I grabbed this energy bar, which I've never seen before. It's pretty much just dates and nuts, but it was good and a nice little snack to pick up my energy. Then I went to the Grove and there was randomly a premiere happening there at the movies. It was for the movie, The Recruit. 
It was pretty crowded though because of the event, so I quickly turned around and went over to World Market to grab some stocking stuffers, and then went around the corner to Erwan to grab a couple of items that I needed for a video I was filming, and also some snacks because I was getting really hungry. Okay, so they're still doing some construction outside. It's seven o'clock at night, so I feel like they're probably gonna stop around eight. So if you hear beeping noises, that's what that is. But I got a couple things from Erwan. I don't normally shop at Erwan because it is a pretty pricey grocery store. That said, it is such a fun grocery store. They literally have, it's like I'm a kid in a candy store at that grocery store. They have so many cool vegan products, lots of good, just like specialty snacks and dips and sauces. I stopped in because I wanted to get some Dandy's Marshmallows, the vegan marshmallow brand, and I can't find them anywhere. They're literally sold out of all the normal places that I shop. I'm gonna be making some vegan s'mores cookies. I also stocked up on some tortilla chips and salsa. This is a chipotle salsa and I'm gonna be doing a holiday appetizer recipe video coming soon. And I wanted to use a chipotle salsa to make like a queso, like a chipotle salsa queso with chips and dip and that kind of stuff because everybody loves queso. And I think it's really fun to do a vegan version and show people how delicious it can be without the dairy. I also got this hummus. I saw this hummus, I've never tried it before. I'm gonna try it right now because I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna snack on this while I make dinner. My first impression was that the flavor was good, but the texture was very, very thick. Like you can tell there's a lot of tahini in this hummus. And so I liked it, but I felt like it needed like a crunchy, salty pretzel or cracker instead of the cucumber. And I was right, that did enhance the flavor a little bit and the contrast of the crunchy pretzel helped, but overall it was a little too thick for me. And then I just got some baking essentials from a different grocery store for tomorrow. So like making sure that I have plenty of vanilla extract and flour and baking powder and all that kind of stuff. So I am loaded up, ready for holiday baking. While dinner is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on moving around some of the furniture, putting the tree up, and just kind of cleaning up a little bit so that after dinner, it'll just be really nice and cozy and I can focus on decorating, which is my favorite part. I start the soup just by sauteing some onions. I'm not gonna caramelize the onions. I'm just letting them kind of become translucent and slightly sweet by sauteing them on medium heat for a few minutes. Then I add the sweet potatoes, salt, pepper, and turmeric and give that a good stir. Then this is a really quick way to add lots of flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of this curry paste which has so many different herbs and spices that are super aromatic and flavorful. And that's really going to like perfume and flavor the broth in like two seconds. You literally just scoop it in and add some coconut milk, add a little water. I'm also gonna add some white beans and this is going to simmer all together and infuse the potatoes and the beans with a really delicious Thai coconut curry flavor. Then I'm gonna let it cool a little bit, spoon it into my blender. And since I have a Nutribullet, it's kind of small. So I end up doing this in two of the large compartments and blend it until it is nice and smooth. While the soup was simmering, I also roasted some broccoli. I think roasted broccoli is probably my favorite vegetable right now. I've been having it multiple times a week. The combo for me is super simple, salt, pepper, garlic powder, roast until nice and charred and crispy, just like this. The inside is kind of tender and sweet. The outside is like salty, black peppery, and crispy. I love this cheese from Miyoko's. I put it on the sourdough toast, which I used for dipping into my soup, which was so cozy, so delicious, and super flavorful. Recipe below. And you guys, I have to tell you about this little light. This was actually a gift from a viewer years ago. And she reached out to me wanting to give me a hand mixer because she saw in my videos that I didn't have one while I was making something. And she said that someone had done a random act of kindness for her recently while her father was in the hospital and unwell. And she wanted to do a random act of kindness for me and asked me to pass, pass it along, kind of pay it forward with an act of kindness. And I thought it was so beautiful. And she wrote me this note and told me that her act of kindness towards me was in honor of her dad, Captain Paul, and I never, ever, ever forgot it. I take it out every year. I love it. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, I put that out. I decorated my tree. I had Christmas music on and it was super cozy. As you can see, I have a really small space, so it's kind of weird to have a Christmas tree by your bed, but you know what? You make it work when you live in LA and you have a tiny place. I think it turned out really cozy and it just is like subtle, but very, very Christmassy at the same time. And then it was hot chocolate time. Now I love making these Taza hot chocolates. It's so decadent. You just take some of the chocolate and break it into pieces and then pour over your hot milk. It's really good with oat milk or soy milk, something really thick and nice and creamy. I go ahead and mix it up with a little blender, kind of froth it a little bit. And then I add these marshmallows. They're vegan and they're peppermint flavors. You have like kind of like a chocolate peppermint situation going on here. This was so 
so good. And I watched this movie called Noel. I think this came out in 2019. It is so funny and so like I've never heard of it. I've never seen it, but I'm so glad it was on Disney Plus and I really enjoyed it. It was funny, it was cute, it was cheesy, perfect holiday movie to enjoy with my hot chocolate. But thanks for spending the day with me. I hope this video gave you some good ideas for fun recipes to try. I will link as much as I can in the description box below, so check that out. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.